Hello and welcome to my small tutorial where I will show you how to use uh, smart water and save it and also a little bit of all the features you can find um, into the editor. So a small scene with um, uh, an Iceland here. And a large water plane. You can see it here. So uh, what we are going to do is to change this water, make it looking differently and then save it. First I'm going to uh, remove all the different layers, I have several smart water set uh, in different places so you can use the water for pool, lake, river, whatever. Um, so the smart water here, uh, editor has a setup uh, tab, a preset tab, texture tab and parameters tab. So we will start from the parameters tab uh, where uh, you will spend the most time because this is where you tweak, can tweak all the different parameters. So let's start to remove um, the refraction. The refraction here, I remove it and here's the water without refraction. Um, well I could have removed the reflection from the refraction, it's very subtle but for example if I put the reflection here you can see the the reflection of the sky in the water so I can remove it and then the refraction here we have the sun power I can remove it gone and so what's left is the caustics and I can remove the caustics here so now we have an empty plane what I want to do is to go here and I want to create uh, some kind of um, lake wa water. As you can see, the water is moving slowly. Well, um, so I'm gonna make this lake wa water here. I will first um, work on the refraction, which is the most important thing. So there are several options for the refraction. This refraction is more for a big ocean. I can change the basic texture of the refraction here. And this can change dramatically the look of the water. So just let's try another one, like the quiet one. So you see it's really changed or if I put a lot of refraction. Some refraction. Let's make the refraction and the water more bright and uh, less transparent. So I remove the transparency. We can really see the refraction here. Oops. And so if I change, for example, the, the main texture with the uh, buzzy water. I will have something like this and I can change I can change the water look very easily like this and um, I can use a river for example, river style For example, if I put the refraction and the reflection and some caustics, hmm, then it looks a little bit more like a river, buzzy river, I would say. I don't know how you can call it. Let's try to go in the lake one. Mm, maybe uh, 
and change the ref refraction. You can see. like this and then I add the sun power and there is the sun power and the sun halo as you can see this, that's the sun halo and the sun power is this so you can have a big big halo like this or you can have a small halo like this. Of course you can change the color of the sun. Uh, you can always change the color of everything. Um, so let's try to make a halo like this. Mm, I think a buzzy, buzzy water will be better. Yeah. So I have some kind of buzzy water here. Um, I will add some more caustics and can change the caustics color if I make it yellow my water will turn to green a little bit and now I can tweak the transparency Maybe the caustics are. Oops. So now I have a very different water that can be used for my lake. Mm, I think the caustic maybe is no, not good. I just remove him. Or very, very small like this. So I have a nice water for my lake. Oops. I'm gonna uh, save it so I can reuse it. To do this, I go into the preset <coughs> and I enter a preset name. I will call this water Nico Lake, for example. Mm, I like Lake. And I click Save. Now, if I go into the project, in the preset here I have Nico Lake this is my water this is the water we see here and it's saved as a preset it's a prefab in fact yes so let's uh, turn off and turn on again and you see my water is lost if I come back here, I don't have the same water. It's not the water I just created. So I'm not happy. And uh, But I have saved Nicolaic here. So I can remove smart water. And I can drag and drop Nicolaic. Oh, let's first switch to the same mode from the top so I get to drag and drop Nico Lake here it is I set the position to zero 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 so I'm sure that I am in the right place so my water is here I rename it uh, smart water so that and now I just have to run the water and this is the water I just created can fly back to the scene that's the the prefab I just saved so as you can see it's very easy to create a new water oh, let's make a red one Ooh, it's like blood. Yes, we have a blood water now. With uh, maybe. Mm -hmm. 
of some power. Caustics? No, no caustics. This one I can name it uh, blood water. Blood water. And I save. No, if I stop, <coughs> my settings are lost. You see, I have my preset for the lake, and my blood is gone. So I can <coughs> delete, go here, find blood water, turn on the top. Drag and drop my blood water here. Check. Set the blood water at zero zero. Um, I think I'm set. I just switch back to the view and I turn on. And here is my blood water. Ooh. That's the blood water I just saved. Okay, that was my uh, little tutorial to show you a little bit how you can manipulate the water, save it and load it in your project. Thank you very much.